first and foremost, uh, this this decision I made was probably the hardest I've, I've made so far in my life. Um, uh, I think it, it wasn't a decision that, that I just woke up in one day and, and, and wanted to do. Uh, it was it wasn't just me making decisions, uh, me, my family, Coach Hogerson, uh a, a lot of people got involved with it, and, and I think it was the, the decision best for my future and, and, and my, my college experience. So that's the reason I made it. Derek, can you tell us what your message is going to be to anybody who tries to reach out to you or goes to a third party to reach out to you, yeah. see if you'd be interested in transferring? What, what are you going to tell these people if they reach out to you that way? Uh, I'm staying here. I'm here. Um, if I wanted to leave Houston, go somewhere else, I, I could have. Um, I think just me being here uh, is, is what I want to do. I think it's the best opportunity for me. So uh, I don't think any, anybody will reach out to me, even if, if they do. Uh, they should know I'm staying here. There were reports that your father said you were leaving. You were you were already just you'd already decided to transfer. How would you respond to that? It's a lot of reports going on. Um, it's a lot of fake news, as as they say. Um, I think words might have got twisted up. Uh, this he, he he never said that. I can assure you, he never said that. Um, the news coming out, like I said, it's a lot of a lot of stuff going around right now. Everybody can assume anything they want to assume, but I'm here. Derek, I guess, why at the end of the day did you feel like this was the right move? Um, a, a lot of a lot of thinking went into it. Um, like I, like Coach Hogan just said, Friday morning, came up here, uh, he called me. I came up here, we talked, just about the game for thirty minutes. We talked about the game for thirty minutes. Then um, everything was on the table after that. We talked about all my, all my options and and everything was on the table. Um, and it wasn't like he, he talked to me about it, asked me a question about it, and I was like, yeah, I'm all in. It was. Friday, Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday night, Sunday, even waking up Monday, I still wasn't sure. Um, but at the end of the day, like I said, I talked to my family, uh, my family, Coach Ogerson, they they met, and we all think it's a, the best opportunity. How would you describe your frustration level where it was after the Tulane game, and and how much has that been building? Uh, I mean, any any competitor, anybody that, that plays college football knows uh, what it feels like to lose a game, um, and I think. You, you prepare all summer, all winter, all fall camp, all spring for these 12 games. Um, so anybody that, that loves the game like I do, or I'm, I know my teammates and, and everybody like that, everybody's frustrated after a loss. No matter if we lost by one point, lost at the end of the game, lost by 30, everybody's frustrated after the loss. So I, I can say I was, I was pretty frustrated. From So from Friday to Monday at any point during the weekend, did you ever have the thought cross your mind of entering the transfer portal or leaving the University of Houston? No, that was never a thought. Um, uh, we never thought about leaving, never thought about transferring, any of that. Um, to be honest with you, I didn't think about registering. I didn't think about doing any of this until everything was on the table. Um, every, until we had a conversation, an open conversation with me, Coach Hogerson, uh, my family, Coach Hogerson, and, and the coaching staff. So that's where how it came from. So what was it that made you think, okay, redshirting was the best thing for you at this moment? <sighs> um, just, just coming to college, um, I feel like I've been an unself, uh, uh, unselfish player my whole career. Um, just g getting here, kind of getting recruited every single, everywhere by different schools, different different places in the country, and coming here and just doing trying to do the best for the team. Um, we had a, a bunch of injuries my freshman year, so I played quarterback, running back, receiver, kick return, punt return for the betterment of the team. And as it should be, uh, football is a team sport. Um, Sophomore year, I get injured in camp, um, missed three, four games, had a chance to make a career straight then, uh, decided to come back and help the team. Um, junior year, kind of banged up. I played through it because I, I didn't want to let the team down. Um, so it's all that just, just thinking about everything that, that, that I've been through and everything this team's been through. Four old season, four years, three head coaches. Um, it's nobody's fault. It's just the, the cards that we got dealt. And I think this opportunity is, is, is pretty good for me and my future. Derek, uh, you'll probably have a better idea after a game, but you did get to practice last night. Did, can you just the the feel weird to be practicing for a game you're not going to play in, or to probably be at a game when you are healthy and can play, but <coughs> chose not to. Yeah, uh, of course. Um, I've been playing football since I was four years old. Never missed a year, so playing 16, 17 years straight, and God willing, was, was healthy enough to, to play most of the season, most of my most of my years playing football. Um, it's always, it's a, it's a weird feeling. Um, just not, just know you're practicing and, and you're still trying to get better, still trying to help your teammates out, uh, still trying to keep a positive attitude about everything. Um, I mean, it's at this at this moment, it is what it is. Um, 
I'm still there. I'm still at the practice. Still, me and Clayton still close, like a brother to me. Um, talked to a bunch of my teammates. Make sure everybody was, was all right with my decision, and, and a lot of guys respect it. So it is what it is. So, Derek, what have you seen in the last nine months that that gives you hope and a little bit of promise, maybe that you yourself and the team as a whole will be more prepared next season? Um, just just stability in, in in the program. Like I said, being here four years and having four different OCs and, and three head coaches. Um, people can say what they want to say. It, it's life. You got to move on, but. That takes a toll on anybody. <laughs> um, uh, I just need just get us getting better from game one to, to week one to week two to week two to week three, week three to week four. Um, that just shows promise. Uh, we have a, a lot of young guys on this team that a, a lot of guys come back next year. Uh, it's not even about next year right now, though. It's about this year. And I still think we have a, a, a well enough team to go out there and, and, and win nine straight, win eight straight games. And, and I think those guys will, will play hard and try to do everything they can to, to do that. Derek, did you uh, address your teammates last night? And if so, how, how did that go? Um, it was kind of kind of a weird deal because I was outside the alumni when when the story broke. I wanted to talk to my teammates before anything got out. Um, so kind of the whole social media thing kind of went crazy on social media. And I talked to most guys. Um, we had a practice yesterday, so everybody's focus is on beating North Texas. Um, so I didn't want to interfere with any of that. Um, I plan on talking to, to the team soon. Uh, whenever I get the opportunity to, but I talked to I talked to most guys on the team. Did you or or plan? Did you kind of try to reg, uh, recruit anybody else to to maybe do that? I know no. Keith did it, but it, did you try to go, you know do any more? No, no, sir. Um, like Coach Ogden said, he he talked to it wasn't he, he talked to a couple guys about it. Um, it wasn't just me, and I was gonna let those those guys are grown men as well. I was gonna let those guys uh, make a decision what's best for them. Uh, if they feel like coming back was best for them, I was gonna be with them. Cause at the end of the day, if it's a brotherhood, like like you like you say it is, and uh, we all should be happy whatever decision every, anybody makes. Um, so I didn't I didn't go and recruit guys like, hey, not play, uh, don't play this year, uh, come back next year. No, I, I would never do that to this current team. Cause that's the most important thing. Last thing, coach called you the the potential to be a sounding board for Clayton. Yeah. Uh, what how how do how do you feel about that role in terms of being able to be there for him and and kind of help him get through this this season? Uh, I love it. Um, I love Clayton like a brother. Uh, ever since he stepped foot on this campus, uh, we have a we had a great relationship, and it, it's it's a blessing to me because it's not always like that in the quarterback room. Uh, most guys are competing with each other and, and and don't like each other, but it's not like that here. Um, me and Clayton have a great relationship, and I, I hope he does really well. Um, and I'll be there every step of the way to help him out. Any anytime he wants to talk to me about anything and he has any questions, I'll be there for him. From a football perspective, what are some of the things that you want to work on to better your game going into next year? Um, everything. Um, I don't think it's, it's, it's anybody that, that, that says that they can't get better. So um, for me, it's, it's everything. Um, just, just getting more comfortable in the system, um, just making all the throws, making all the right reads, and becoming a, becoming a better person as well. So.